hi guys welcome back to my channel jesus tv my return subscribers thank you all so much god bless you all for always coming around for viewing my channel for your beautiful comments in the comment sections my new viewers you're welcome and yes if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel yes so my beautiful people thank you all once more so I've been hearing a lot of gist about why Queen Naomi did not attend the Olojo festival with her son Teddy, Prince Teddy. And like people were actually saying, like comments has been flying up and down just everywhere. So and most people said that she was not actually invited. Why some people said, what is she going there to do? Why some people are saying that is because um, Dr. Naomi is actually pregnant. That was why she couldn't call for the larger festival. And some people are really, really bashing her for... They are trying to say that she's actually depriving the prince of um, what um, he's supposed to know. The culture parts, where, what he's supposed to know, what he's supposed to grow with, the knowledge he's supposed to grow with and all that. So why some people think that um, it is actually right for her to stay away from everything, every drama that concerns the palace. So most people are still dragging her for clothes that she's wearing. I think they actually think that um, they actually think that she's looking more beautiful in wearing um, this kind of outfits instead of using her um designer ceo lumini they feel like lumini was actually using her and cashing out and um, she should learn to wear um simple clothing and a lot of people are saying things anyways people are just um saying things anyways they are making their opinions they are saying their mind which doesn't affect um when naomi and what uh, she wants to do with her life and at the part of the Olojo festival, not bringing the prince to the um, festival is... I don't understand. I don't know. But what I actually think is that um, if she was not actually invited to the Olojo festival, there's no need for her to walk into that place. And um, if... Um, for the uh, kind of Queen Naomi's type, I don't think she would want to go to the Olojo Festival to go and do what? If the king wanted to the son to be at the Olojo Festival, they would have made reservations for that and um, prepared for it. Do you understand? But I don't think Queen Naomi would want the prince to be involved in things like that. I don't think she would want to put her son in such... Uh, position and people are still asking Queen Naomi a lot of just anyways but like people are still asking her why is she bearing um still bearing Ogunusi on her social media pages and all that and they've actually forgotten that um on social media you cannot change your name like that on Instagram especially you cannot change just wake up and change whatever name you were using just like that and to be sincere, this woman that you are trolling, she has not actually deleted any of the pictures she took with the king. She didn't delete any of the pictures. She didn't um, remove any of their pictures and all that. She only said that she was no longer interested in being the Yeruwa of Ileife, that she doesn't want to be the queen anymore, you know, that she just wants to live a simple lifestyle. That was what she said. So, and you people that are saying that uh, she is no longer the queen and all that, she might step down as the ruler of Ileife, but she is still married to the king. Until divorce is set, she is still the king's wife. Because you all that know culture and tradition knows that it is not easy. Once the king's hand is on you and you have a child for the king, it is not that easy to go off, just like I said. 
And most people are really, really um, insensitive in their comments most times. Like, they don't actually think of what that person is actually passing through, is going through, how that person is fighting her, um, fighting her, the demons in her life and all that. They just say something because they have the access to say things. They, are, they, they have access to um, social media. is a freedom of speech and they just wake up and just think of insulting someone or saying hurtful words to people without even thinking. Queen Naomi is living her life. She actually has her own things, her own problems to solve. And her person adding up um, another problem, man problem or any other problem to her, already have, already carved problems, might be what she doesn't want to get involved into. Do you understand? So people that are really picked it up that they just wake up one morning and think of insulting her or talking down on her family or anything. She just really, really talk and think twice because life is not always what you um, visualize it to be. Do you understand? So um, it's happened to her today. It can happen to any other person. People make mistakes in marriages. People marry people that they are not compatible with or they cannot endure anything from, which is actually true. And if Queen Naomi said that she is no longer interested in the palace, then that is what she said. And she said what she said, and it is what it is. Do you understand? So nobody is pushing her. Nobody is compelling her to, and nobody should compare her to do what she doesn't want to do. And most people that are trolling her, like whenever she is happy, whenever she posts pictures, and people will be on her inbox, people will be on her comment section to, or on her page to insult her, to ask her why she is happy, she's not supposed to be dancing. And someone actually commented, someone actually said that, um, why is she dancing? That why did she come for the Olojo Festival and all that? And I kept asking my are these ones myself, are these ones human beings? Does this ones actually have hearts of humans in them? Like a a pumping heart with blood. Do you understand? Because there are there are a lot of things. When you see somebody's um pictures or when you see somebody that is happy and you feel like the happiness irrit irritates you, you could just walk off. You could just walk by. You could just delete the person's pictures. You could just walk away from the person. So, my beautiful people, that is it though. That is the gist. They are actually saying that when Naomi actually looks pregnant and all that. I was just wondering who will impregnate her. You, you all know how this thing is, how it has been working, how it works, how the culture is. And for now, there's nobody in her life. And she, I don't think she's actually even thinking of anybody right now. She's just trying to put her life together, put herself together, make the best out of her situation. So, my beautiful people, thank you all for always coming around, for viewing my channel, my my new viewers. I hope you find your quite interesting enough to subscribe to my channel. And please, let me plead, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for always coming around. Have a blessed day.